Hi, peeps. It's Coach Donna coming to talk to you this morning from my car. <laughs> I um, have been running around for the last couple, maybe about an hour or so, and I decided that I, today was going to be the day that I talked to you because I haven't talked to you in a while, and I know that I needed to tell you a couple things about what's going on with me lately and to give you some lessons that I learned, of course, on ways that I can make things that I, that I can help you make things happen for you a little bit better. Last four, the last four weeks have been a push beyond belief. I had no idea. I mean, I've been saying that the abundant rain was coming, right? And I've been saying that things are going to change. And I've been saying that and saying that and saying that and, and, and giving you the understanding that, that I knew that it was going to happen, right? But this last four weeks, um, came up it culminated into yesterday so yesterday i spoke at the women's conference for uh, ucsd and ucsd for those of you who don't know is the uh, um, university of california in san diego so it's like ucla it's the extension of ucla in california not an extension it's actually they have different uc schools across the state so every UC school, every University of California is connected to the others. So it's actually UCLA in San Diego. Okay. So I spoke at their women's conference yesterday. That just gave me an idea. I spoke in the, at their women's conference yesterday. And speaking at their women's conference was, coming up to speaking at their women's conference was the bomb, right? It was great to be there yesterday. It was great. But the process that it took for me to get there, the press of the process to get the prize. Boy, oh boy, was the press a press. <laughs> so when I first got the UCSD um, email that I was actually going to be speaking at UCSD, I did the normal thing that anybody who gets some, some great news does. They run around and they scream and they holler. <laughs> and that's what I did. I ran around in my apartment screaming and hollering and excited and excited. And then I ran, oh, crap. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. Oh, crap. It's happening. <laughs> so <laughs> that's exactly the, my response. I was really, really excited. And then I went, oh, crap. It's happening. <laughs> so... What I did was, I did, of course, <clears throat> and called the tribe, talked to them, and there was, uh, you know, we had this Facebook uh, group, and I, and I, um, and I caught, and I went in there, and I went, oh my God, blah, 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 it's happening, it's great, da, 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 da. happy, 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 oh crap, help. <laughs> and what they did was, they went, okay, first breathe, and then after they said breathe, then they said, you have, <clears throat> I think it was 27 days. To, to get your stuff together. And you have time. So you need to get busy. And I went. Get myself together. I have time. So I need to get busy. And. Blank stare. Like oh my god. I need to get busy. I need to get busy. What am I going to do? I need to get busy. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have anything. To offer these people. When they walk away. So I don't have anything for them to walk away with. I don't have anything. I don't have my book done. I don't have my, my poetry book done. I haven't done the Living a Powerful Life course and printed it. I don't have anything. I don't have any of that stuff done. Oh my God, I don't have anything done. And I called Cece, <laughs> my friend Cece. And she went. And I, and you know, as immediately I knew that there were certain things that I wanted. But I didn't know how to make them happen in the short time. That I don't know. I didn't. I don't know if I didn't know that I, whether I could or if I didn't know. Um, if I didn't know how, excuse me. Um, and so the mad rush began. Not the mad rush, but the the very uh, um, focused rush began. So in the middle of that. Of course, and you know how I always tell you guys the journal. My journal stays with me now. Wherever I go, it's all, all my stuff is all in there, right? My life map and all the stuff is in there. And so that's been what I've been using to keep up with everything. 
So I make my list and I'm just in. So I shared my list with Cece. And Cece goes, okay. What's the topic? What's this? What's that? What's that? And she just blurts out all of this brilliance. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in deep crap because I don't know any of that. <laughs> I don't know any of that stuff. But she was like, no, you know. And what do you want to sell? And what do you want to this? And what do you want that? Long story short, the last four weeks have been me pushing into creating things that I always wanted to have but never knew how to get. Just because I simply said, this is what I need. And then all of this stuff just started lining up for me, right? And in the press... Living a Powerful Life. This is this is actually the Living a Powerful Life course um, that I wrote five years ago on audio and also with the workbook attached to it. So this has been in my mind, in my heart. I've been teaching this course at my church for two years, but now it's an actual audio course that's available on my website. And I didn't have a website before. I only had a blog. But now I have a website. Another thing came out that wasn't even in existence. Head, heart, and mouth agreement. Nope, sorry. Mental landscaping. The mental landscaping course is actually what I taught on yesterday. Before I taught it, I wrote it, and I recorded it, and I did a workbook for it. And it's right here. It actually exists in this world now. Right? There's also another audio that I did called Head, Heart, Mouth Agreement. The the printer messed up the, the labels on that. So I had to get with him and make him print me some more labels so I can have that CD available. Because that's, that's an audio CD. It's a 55-minute audio CD that's actually available on the website as well. And I didn't have this stuff before. So literally the last four weeks, I had to shut out the world that didn't count on some on the hierarchy of skills. If you weren't my mama, my coach, my son, or you didn't have anything to do with bills and stuff I needed to get done, or you weren't somebody who needed my undivided attention for a few minutes, I couldn't talk to you. Because <laughs> I couldn't. Because I was writing and I was recording and I was making sure that I was accountable for all the things that I wanted to do. And I was rolling and rolling and rolling and trying to get everything done. I have a website now. An actual website, not just my blog. My blog is on the website, but my website is like a full-blown website now. I have business cards now, right? With my name and information on it for people to contact me if they want me to speak. Or if they want me to do uh, some sort of um, workshop or whatever. I'm not saying this because I'm advertising to you. I'm saying this to say that in the press for progress, you have to absolutely shut it all out, shut it all down, and focus. Otherwise, you're going to miss something. And that doesn't mean that there won't be breakdowns on the way. Believe me, there were <clears throat> several breakdowns on the way. There are still no buttons on the website that allow people to pay for stuff that's connected to my PayPal. Now, my PayPal set up and everything like that but there are still there are still things that we're working out and those they should be done by the end of the day actually but even in that between the website breakup the things that are going that had to happen with the website that broke down the thing the printer and all the stuff that went along with that printer thing now the printer was the, the second option because of course i bought ink for my own printer boom and the ink didn't work in the printer so now i have to take the ink back to the office depot people and be like yeah i don't know this this didn't work and get my money back because now i have what i needed so i don't need to print i don't need the ink right now anymore so maybe i do need the ink but I don't know. At any rate, there were breakdowns all along, all the way through. And I thought, I mean, the the the, the silly me, <laughs> I thought that what would happen is I would actually have the ability <clears throat> to to offer. <clears throat> I would have the ability to rest before the conference yesterday. Yeah, that's not what happened. There was no rest before the conference yesterday. I literally stayed up the entire night and I got dressed at six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, put on my makeup, put on my hot girl dress and my hot girl shoes and went and taught and served the people, served the people. 
And when I got done serving, we ate lunch and it was great. And I mingled and met a bunch of people. And then after I mingled and met people, then on my way home, my, my wonderful, wonderful sister from another mister, Laura, was there with me the entire time. And when I was time, when it was time for us to leave, I got in the car and we drove about a block and I realized that shutdown was happening. <laughs> so I t I pulled over and gave Laura the reins and said, you gotta, you gotta drive me home because I can't, I can't make it home. I know that I won't make it home. It's not safe for me to drive because I have been pushing so hard. I think the last month I've learned to live off of three hours of sleep a night. Three, because in the middle of the night, I would wake up writing or I would wake up thinking of things that I needed to do. And I didn't stop. I didn't stop any of the other stuff that I had to do. So I never stopped going to band rehearsal. I didn't go last week, um, but that's because it was canceled. I never stopped going to um, church. I never stopped doing worship rehearsal. I never stopped doing any of the things that I normally did. I didn't stop. And I actually had four speaking engagements in between yesterday and East and the last speaking engagement in, in April. I mean, literally, I had four speaking engagements this month that didn't have anything to do with this one. And two of them just came out of nowhere. So in the middle of the press, there were things that were still happening all around. Getting to it, there were breakdowns that happened all around. That didn't stop the, the fact that I still had the press to get what I needed. So no matter what's going on around you, in the middle of the press, it cannot distract you from the goal. It cannot. You cannot let it distract, distract you from the goal. You have to set the priority for what is most important in your world every day and stick with it. You have to absolutely look at the prize of what you're looking for, of what you want. These two CDs... These are my prize. That logo up top, just so you'll see, that logo up top, that didn't happen, you know, because I was um, chilling. <laughs> that happened because I was like, I need, and I need, and I need, and it needs to look like this, and it needs to be this, and it needs to be, I literally, it happened because in my, in my, in my sphere of the press, I just pressed until I got everything that I needed. So while my web guy was working on my web developer, excuse me, was working on one thing, and I say it like that because when I said my web guy, blah, 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 to him, he was like, I'm not a web guy. I'm a web developer. So my web developer, um, <laughs> when I was going through all that stuff, there were breakdowns in the in the conversations that we were having. So we had to like, okay, this is what I want. And so I would, he would do something and I'd be like, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. And so we literally had to come to an, a consensus in the design because, of course, he wants to be creative. And I get that because I'm an interior designer and I want to be creative when I have a client too. But I still have to do what the client needs in order for that to be available for him. I mean, for, for them, the right thing to be available to them. <clears throat> Long story short and all the way up. Because I'm running out of time. I need you guys to make sure that when you're pressing into the proper, into your purpose, that you focus and shut out the stuff that doesn't matter. Shut out the emotional stuff that doesn't matter. Because the truth is, it doesn't matter. When it's time for you to get what you have to get, all of the other stuff in the world does not matter. Only you working towards your goal is what matters. That doesn't mean that you don't care. That doesn't mean that you're not concerned and yet you don't have the thought process to take care of yourself or the people around you and connect. What that means is <clears throat> all of the other stuff. I didn't hang out. I didn't have time. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I don't even remember. I didn't see scandal, unfortunately. The last month, of I didn't see it. I didn't have time. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I, there were just things that just they, everything that it paled in comparison to the prize. And when things pale in comparison to the prize, just focus on the prize peeps, because the prize is really what we're after. Anyway, we live life in 4G. Now that I focused on the prize, now that I focused in the press, I have the ability to serve the world in a different capacity because these can go where I cannot. These 
can serve people when I'm not, when I'm sleeping, when I'm awake, when I'm around, when I'm doing something else, when I'm serving a different crowd, people can still be learning from me, growing inside of themselves because I chose to live life in 4G. Life in 4G is living in God, living a life of giving, living a life of gratitude and living unapologetically in your greatness. Make sure that when you're doing the press, when you're in the middle, no matter what the breakdown, no matter what the distraction, you focus because on the other side of the press is your purpose. Bye, people.